Hey everybody, how you doing? It is me, Timothy. And tonight gonna be having Subway's last new sub that they got. This one is called the American Sub. And they, and they got three. This is the last one of the subs of one of the three. I'm going to let you guys see what's in it. Got bacon and your turkey and ham. And got lettuce and tomato. Uh, that's what's in this sub. And just kick back, enjoy me, will you? And. Eat along with me if uh, you're eating out uh, there. Whatever you're having, good. Just curious what you're having. So, how's everybody doing out there? On this wonderful Sunday. Hope your Sunday has been a terrific one out there for all of you watching me on this uh, fine, fine world today. How's the weather for everybody out there? Ours was another perfect, perfect picture one. It was nice this weekend. Very nice. But things are supposed to change. <laughs> For us. We're supposed to get rain again coming up this week. Nothing I don't want to hear. Too many people are having flooding problems by lakes and that. It's sad that they're having problems. But, you know, I guess that's part of life, living by a lake. You're going to have problems. So what have you all been up to today? Any exciting things for any of you out there? Me? Well, not much excitement today for me. Man, yeah, not much whatsoever. Let's say I took my son to work this morning. And then after that, I stopped to see uh, if any trains was running. Well, Amtrak came in. And I watched Amtrak, and they left. Now I waited and waited and waited to see if a freight was going to come. No freight came, so I went to the post office to see if I had anything there. Nothing there. So I went back to the parking lot for a bit. Nothing. 
And I said, hmm, well, what I'll do is I've seen cars on the street in our downtown area. So I went down there, and they had this, like, a small convenient um, pastry shop, shop open. Now, that's a rarity for our town to have something like that open on a Sunday morning. Because everything in our downtown area is closed. I mean completely closed. But this <laughs> little pastry shop wasn't closed at all. They were open. I go, wow, <laughs> surprising. Only place in our downtown area that was open. Well, plus, um, and our, um, hotel <laughs> downtown. <laughs> but the you know, only eatery place or a pastry shop. But yeah, it was kind of funny seeing that open. So I grabbed me a piece of uh, carrot cake and snacked on that. And well, then I grabbed that and started heading back to where I wait for trains and kind of missed one. One was rocking. <laughs> and all bummer. And then after that train got through, then I left. And um, came home and chilled here for a little while, then decided to take off for a drive. And and um, I sat in this uh, one uh, parking lot. Then I moved from there and went to another one and just chilled for a little bit. Just thought about a lot of things. And then after that, I left and uh, went back downtown to see if I could get me a train, but n nothing was running. So I said, I'll oh, buy a home bug, and I left and came home and watched the Tiger game today. They won in extra innings, uh, ten, five to two. Then after that, I went to Subway to get dinner for me and my son and went to go get him. Now hearing that some child just heard on the news some child had the measles and <laughs> they they think he might have had the measles on a flight from Vegas. That's scary, man. Not knowing what somebody has on that fl a flight, then you get contaminated with it. That is scary too, man, not knowing that if somebody has something, then spread it all over.
Yeah, my son told me some uh, uh, big na name YouTuber went to, what, jail? Uh, prison. Prison. What was his name? Uh, Austin Jones. Uh, yeah, Austin Jones. I don't know if any of you uh, ever heard of Austin Jones, but I guess he went to prison. I know just <laughs> last weekend, some YouTubers down in Florida had went to jail. As uh, they were in this uh, abandoned building, and they go and do uh, ghost hunting into these abandoned buildings down there in Florida. Man, got a lot of them. Well, I guess they posted it on YouTube, and somebody seen it. And t the owner got mad about it and charged them with a trespassing. And there wasn't no trespassing signs whatsoever. It's crazy. <laughs> You know, one thing I like about Subway is they're always polite to you to ask you if you want your stuff warmed up. Now, Jimmy John's doesn't do... <laughs> I don't know about any of your other sub places. <laughs> I know we got another one just up the street by us. And they're hardly ever busy as as well. And I went, I noticed today that um, they knocked down this um, uh, restaurant. It was a wonderful restaurant called Shrinks uh, Cafeteria. Well, come to find out, they knocked it down. That was one wonderful restaurant to go to and to eat. I believe we went there for my uh, uh, sister and brother-in-law's uh, gathering and stuff.
And it's sad that they tore the place down. Wish somebody would have bought it and put another restaurant in it. It was a wonderful place. And we don't have very much exciting good things done in our downtown. <laughs> Yeah, they used to have some awesome uh, movie theaters in our downtown area. But, I uh, don't got them anymore. <laughs> and they were some good classic uh, movie theaters as well. I really enjoyed them. But, uh, they know. We don't have them anymore, and <laughs> I don't have good restaurants what we used to down there. <laughs> oh, crazy, crazy. How much times have changed. And plus, dry bins. You don't see very much dry bins as well. There's only one dry bin. It's in, the, in another town called Coldwater, Michigan. That's the only drive-in that exists. Now, we used to have two in our town. But one area has a church. Other area has homes. <laughs> uh, how much those days were... Uh, does your town got a drive-in movie theater? Let me know in the comment box if your town has a drive-in movie theater. Just curious if your town has one. So what are y'all going to be doing for the rest of this uh, Sunday? Me? Well, I'll say what I'm going to be doing is uh, doing up some uh, uh, coffee I mean, uh, coffee cups and glasses, and then after that, just chill for the evening, and I went around for um, my favorite show, Supergirl. She's all new tonight. Doesn't got very much shows left of her. My God, I can't believe it. Season finals are coming to an end pretty soon. Lord, <laughs> where did TV season go? <laughs> Don't any of you agree? It goes too fast. They make it should make it last till June. Then that way you don't have long to wait for new ones to come back. <laughs> well, yeah, I'll be watching that, and then after that, just chilling, finding something interesting to do until I I decide to go to bed and hit the hay for the night. Well everyone, hope you all enjoyed watching me eat the last of the sub from Subway called the American Club. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and share it. And if you're new and came along this video, Hit that red subscribe button right there or right there. Click on it and subscribe to my channel. And check out my other videos I got. I got plenty on here. So feel free to check them out. Well, again, everyone, y'all take it easy out there. And have a fabulous one. And if any of you out there is getting close to going into Monday or almost stepping into Monday or already into Monday, wherever you're at, around this great, great continent today, well, happy Monday to you. 
And if you're still in the Sunday and having a great, great Sunday, wherever you're at, well, happy Sunday. Again, everyone, y'all take it easy out there. And have a fabulous one. And this Subway Vlog is over.